Well, let's see. We can pull up the year. Okay, well, we're waiting, huh? A few minutes, so I'll, uh, I can pull this up later. The main are on the scanner with the lines using the window. Well, I'm not going to the joke. Well, so when I see you, Snyari, because it was really your jets, how an ugly and dodgy screen is star, no matter how many. Right now, we're all going to get a guess. We're going to start a tank of garaco. And yet, in the start, you don't see it. And I'm going to start making a number. Right now, we're all so here and the condon has to that cow is done a great zinig and yet the girl is done a guego or quasi and no cosson. Let you know what I do. Yet you saw the gun on there on the headstone. I'm going to go here. Ready how I go. Dumb down we are on headstone and I got that stasser and I got no way. Dumb down we are on headstone and I said you got dark again. I got no longer hug her. I didn't know. No, not that. I don't know. I don't know. Dumb down we are on heads on a guego on a gorda going on a rusty to go on a scarlet on a ori wheel, curry or body shoes to the dana does it stunts to the dana. Dumb down we are on heads on a beyond the one and they're gonna go real. Okay, so whenever we get together for a council meeting, anything of importance, we always have to carry out. Mahon de Gari Wadekwa first. This is the Thanksgiving address where we identify and give thanks to the things in creation that have created us and the things that we need to continue to sustain us. So we always begin by giving our thanks to the great spiral of creation. That when you look up into the nighttime sky, you are not looking at cold, empty, lifeless space the way that non native science would lead you to believe. No, instead, you are looking into the great body of our great mother the body of sky woman herself and so we give thanks to sky woman as it is she who has given us spirit from there we give our thanks to the beating heart of our mother earth to our grandma grandmother moon it's she that regulates the flow of the life flood in all things and so we give thanks to her to grandma moon as it is she who has given us blood from there we give our thanks to our mother earth who is kind of deflated right now but we're going to blow it back up uh regardless of uh what color you are what language you speak or what you imagine divides us we all come from the same mother making us all one family sisters brothers all relations all all to each other and so we give thanks to our mother earth as it is she who has given us body from there we give our thanks to all the women from the newest born baby girl to the eldest grandmother as they carry the sacred title of life giver into the world and are to be honored and respected as such we give thanks to them for in this world they give us purpose and direction. And this is to identify that how they give us purpose and direction is like what all things in creation. If you're a baby wolf, a baby bear, a baby bear, bird, no matter what, you are taught by your mother how to be. You are taught how to be that, that thing, that strain of life, but how to be good within that strain of life. Buenos días a todas y todos. Estamos en este encuentro de la reconstitución y empezamos con el ojón de Garihuatecua, las palabras de agradecimiento a todo lo que está ahí antes de nosotros y empezamos agradeciendo a la mujer cielo que nos da nuestro espíritu, a nuestra abuelita Luna que es literalmente el corazón latiente de nuestra madre tierra, a nuestra madre tierra que nos da nuestro cuerpo, 
y a todas las dadoras de vida, desde la más pequeñita recién nacida hasta la más ancianita de las abuelitas, porque ellas son las madres de nuestras naciones, que nos dan nuestro objetivo y nuestra dirección. Y estamos hablando de todas las madres, eh, son ellas las que perpetúan la vida, son ellas las que enseñan a la próxima generación cómo ser y cómo ser buenos en lo que eh, les eh, pertenece hacer en la vida. Oh, wow. Ah, okay, from there, let's see. All right, we give, okay, from there, we give our thanks to the power, the energy that flows between all things that connects us to the tops of the trees, to the, to the sky, to the roots of the trees, to everything within the earth, uh, the spirit, the energy that flows between all things within, not just here, within our bodies, or upon our mother earth, our grandmother moons, right into sky moon throughout the entire water verse. It is the energy, the spirit that uh, that uh, gives life and connects all things. And we identify the, the uh, life-giving force within all these strings of life that perpetuates, that uh, uh, continues uh, life. Y de ahí agradecemos a lo que en la lengua gañangueja se llama saoyera, que es la interconectividad de toda la fuerza femenina, que es lo que da la vida en toda su diversidad. Y le agradecemos por eso. Uh, from there, we give our thanks to all the medicines, all the waters, and all the medicines, and all the shapes and forms they come in. And just to remind ourselves that. We are made 100% of water, and so you are medicines to your grandparents, they are medicine to you, you're medicine to your friends, your family, your loved ones, we are medicines to each other, and we are to be cognizant of this because we, just being, one way or another, are a medicine to the things around us, the people around us, so you are either consciously a good medicine to everything, or else you are allowing your power to be utilized as a bad medicine towards everything. Y de ahí le damos las gracias a todas las aguas y todas las medicinas y estamos conscientes de que estamos constituidos a base de agua y por lo tanto también somos medicinas los unos para los otros. Y de ahí la importancia de que actuemos conscientemente con nuestra buena medicina porque de lo contrario estamos permitiendo que nuestra medicina sea utilizada por algo más y que por lo tanto se vuelva una mala medicina. Uh, from there, let's see, we gave our thanks to our ancestors to carry the good mind, and we asked them to help us to return our mothers back to their natural seat of authority within all our nations so they can manage all of our people properly once again. Y de ahí le damos las gracias al buen espíritu de nuestros ancestros y les pedimos que nos ayuden para que nuestras madres puedan volver al sitio de autoridad que les corresponde y sean capaces de manejar a su gente como se debe de nuevo. We ask them to help us to return the knowledge of every wampum within the great law of peace back to the hearts and minds of the people. Les pedimos que nos ayuden también a que el espíritu de la gran ley de la paz pueda volver a las mentes y los corazones de todos. Uh, to return the true spirit of peace, power, and righteousness and the, the balanced mind leading to the good mind. Y hacer que el espíritu de la verdad, la paz, el poder de nuestros ancestros y el buen camino vuelva a la gente para que eso pueda, sea lo que les pueda guiar. Ok, so here we are at our, what is this now? Our 86th or 87th reconstitution. Mm -hmm. So since we do this, uh, uh, we started doing it only... Uh, once a month, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. It was once a month, and then we changed about a year ago, year and a half, two years ago, to doing it uh, twice a moon, at the new moon and the full moon. So 87 now, That's we've been doing this for quite a while. Y eh, hoy es nuestra 87 ava sesión de reconstitución. Eso empezamos haciéndolo una vez a la luna. Y hace uno o dos años empezamos a hacerlo dos veces por luna, la luna nueva y la luna llena. Entonces ya hace un rato que lo hacemos. And as some of you know who, some of you are with us already, uh, you know that we are, this is like a constant uh, continuing dialogue that we are having. Y quienes han estado con nosotros saben que se trata de un diálogo constante. 
And this is a dialogue that we're having with, with everyone. Uh, the conversation is continuously expanding. Y es un diálogo que se expande constantemente. Uh, so one of the things that we've learned over the course of doing these things is how to streamline. Y algo que hemos aprendido es a hacer lo más concisos posibles. So right now, I think we're still waiting for, there's supposed to be somebody joining us. And if not, so this is how we're going to streamline. If there is nothing there to talk about, no one there, then we will just uh, uh, just touch base and uh, see if there's any information. And if not, then we'll just close up. Y eh, hoy estamos esperando una persona que tuvo un contratiempo y eh, si no hay nadie o nada más, vamos a cerrar. Just so you know, I don't know if you heard that I told you that uh, Roger's friend was saying that he would like to talk to us. Mm -hmm. Y le estoy diciendo a Stuart que también eh, un amigo de Roger dijo que le gustaría hablar a Roger con nosotros. Ok, so in the meantime, just as a general rule for those of us who are here, and if anybody's going to watch this later on, to understand about what all of us have to do with our communication, streamline. Y para que todos sepamos que el objetivo es que seamos concisos. Uh, which means, uh, if we are talking about this thing, I mean, it doesn't matter what it is, it's a, it's a little remote control. Y si hablamos de un objeto, por ejemplo, este control remoto. And if we're talking about this, and you have something on your mind about something else, then do not speak. Y si estamos hablando de esto, pero ustedes quieren hablar de algo más, pues evitan hablar de eso otro. Learn, learn how to streamline your own discourse and not to disrupt the flow of conversation. Para no uh, molestar el flujo de la conversación y aprender a contenerse uno mismo. Sort things out in your head what you want to say before you say it. So that you like edit your own words, that you're not going to waste time saying something that's uh, 10 words long when you can say it in four words. Y que todo el mundo pueda como autoeditarse a sí mismo, es decir, que piensen primero en lo que van a decir y que si van a decir algo que pueda ser dicho en una palabra en lugar de 10, pues así lo sea. And I'll say this especially for the people who are with us continuously. Y digo sobre todo esto para la gente que está con nosotros de forma continua. If you're with us continuously, then you know you should be controlling your own self, controlling your own discourse. Y ustedes saben que eso es lo que deberían de hacer, ser concisos y uh, autocontenidos. I don't want to hear somebody talking about uh, something else other than the subject that we're talking about. Para evitar justo hablar de otra cosa que no estamos hablando. I know in the person's mind, you may make these connections, but if you cannot draw the connection immediately, then we don't want to hear uh, something that's just going to confuse the minds of the people when we should be focused. Porque sabemos que a veces las conexiones en su mente están claras, pero cuando salen no lo es tan evidente. Entonces, para evitar confundir a la gente, hay que retener. Ok, so how you are going to do this? You are all going to train yourself to be able to speak to anyone on any given subject in an instance. Y esto es para entrenarse a hablarle a quien sea sobre cualquier tema en un momentito. So how you're going to do this is you are going to address things before they happen. Entonces ustedes hablan del asunto, o más bien lo tratan antes de que ocurra. So you know that if you have a knowledge of law, you have a pre uh, disposition on all things. There is a position that is already there. Y saben que si están en la ley, siempre va a haber una posición con respecto a las cosas. Now, if you got to wait to until something happens, there's a blow up, and then you have to uh, discuss it to come to a conclusion on law, then that means that you are actually a part of the problem. You have not held that thing together. You waited for it to fall apart, and then you want to address it. Y si ustedes quieren hablar de algo que ya pasó, significa que no pudieron seguir la ley para contener y que esperaron a que la cosa explotara para después hablar de ella. So in all things, confronting the truth, I'll say confronting the original peoples of Turtle Island, which means 
There is a lie pushing itself against the truth. Y eso significa hacer frente a la verdad, lo que significa al mismo tiempo hacer frente a los pueblos originarios de este hemisferio, porque en todo momento hay una mentira que quiere empujar la verdad. So it's not so much about pushing or, or understanding what's happening to native people, because if you're a white person or a black person or a yellow person, your concerns are going to be about who you are. Y no se trata tanto de entender lo que le ocurre a los nativos, porque si ustedes son blancos o amarillos o rojos, van a preocuparse por lo que les ocurre a ustedes. So instead of focusing on who you are, pero, focus on the truth. Pero en lugar de enfocarse en lo que les ocurre a ustedes, enfóquense en la verdad. So if there is an issue, let's say you are a white person and we're, we're adjusting. The, the genocide here. And of course, as a white person, you are probably most likely not going to accept that you are a part of genocide upon the original peoples of Turtle Island. Y digamos que si ustedes son blancos, va a haber mucha dificultad para que puedan aceptar realmente que ustedes son parte fundamental del genocidio actual de los pueblos originales de este hemisferio. Now, you can only have that disbelief when you are solely focused on yourself. Y esa falta de creencia les puede ocurrir solamente cuando se encuentran enfocados en solamente ustedes. And this is the reality of white people, of the European. All you do is you just focus on yourselves. Y esa es la realidad del pueblo europeo, que siempre se han focalizado solamente en ellos mismos. I know that the majority will say no. Y sé muy bien que la mayoría lo va a negar. Because you were thinking from an individual. Porque piensan a partir de una mente individual. So you think of how you are connected to the individuals around you, which is just your family, just your friends. Y ustedes piensan en cómo se conectan con los individuos alrededor de ustedes, que son nada más sus familias, sus amigos. Because if you are white or European, you are not connected to anybody else outside of your, your very close ring of family and friends. Porque si ustedes son justamente blancos europeos, no están conectados a nadie más que no sea ni de su familia ni de sus amigos. When you get linked to larger structures or organizations within you, this is where you lose sight of yourself and you, you just become absorbed into that corrupted collective. Y cuando hacen parte de una organización, por ejemplo, una corporación, ahí van a perderse ustedes mismos y e ir con el flujo de la identidad que les es dada por ese, ese grupo. And it's in that collective where the white European is genociding. Y es en ese grupo, en ese colectivo, que el blanco europeo hace el genocidio. You do it as an individual also, but as an individual you just can't, you, you, you can't understand uh, because you are on the killing end of things, you can't understand the effects. Because if you did, you would have to look at it from the getting killed perspective. Y también lo hacen como individuos, pero ahí pierden esa perspectiva porque tendrían que hacerle frente al hecho de que están asesinando. And that is something that the whole world knows that the white European never does. They never take into consideration anything else other than their own immediate personal interests. And that means most of the time, even uh not including their friends and family. Y se sabe que el blanco europeo esto es lo que ha hecho, nada más se preocupa por sí mismo e incluso sin preocuparse a veces ni de sus amigos ni de su familia. So it comes down to that everyone on earth eh, to have the proper perspective, you have to stop looking at things from the individual gangs that you are in and your individual perspective and start to look at things solely from truth a truth perspective meaning if this thing is good or right or true if Okay. 
well, we can see you see us. Anybody? Acabamos de perder la conexión, entonces nos pueden escuchar bien. Alguien nos puede decir. Anyone who is there, can you hear us? Susan, can you hear us? Yeah, I, I can hear you. Uh, there's some feedback though uh, on your, you know. Voice. Okay, we're having uh, we're having some continued problems here, internet issues. So, uh, you if you've been with us, you know that we cut in and out. So just bear with us. Y bueno, tenemos problemas de conexión seguido, entonces gracias por su paciencia. Okay, so as we were saying, everyone on earth to have the proper perspective and outlook. You have to pull yourself out of your individual interest, your whatever you're connected to, uh, your organizations or whatever, and look at things solely from a truth perspective. Is it true? Is it if it's true, if it's wrong, it's bad. If it's true, it's good. So you you uh, basically you divide the world into this is good and bad. It's true or it's wrong. Mm -hmm. Y como estábamos diciendo, para poder lograr hacer algo en, en frente a lo que estamos haciendo, bueno, los desafíos que estamos haciendo frente, cada individuo dentro de cada organización tendría que salirse de su interés eh, específico al límite lobbyista de lo que están haciendo y poder enfocarse solamente en la verdad. Entonces, en cuanto a cualquier práctica, cualquier cosa que estén haciendo, ¿es esto bueno? ¿Es esto cierto? ¿Es esto verdadero? Y basándose en eso, poder avanzar. So, how are you going to start streamlining your discourse to be only, uh, to contain only truth? And what's good. Y para poder ser concisos y que su discurso solo contenga verdad. Is you're going to take whatever subject that you are uh, interested in, what, what you want to focus on. Toman cualquier tema en el cual estén interesados. You're going to write something about it. Y escriben algo al respecto. Uh, of course, as uh, uh, short as possible to get your uh, entire sentiment across. Lo más corto posible para tener sentimiento verdadero. And if you get it into, let's say, uh, a one page, you're going to break it down to a paragraph. Y, y si hacen una página, por ejemplo, lo van a reducir a un párrafo. To make everything what you say in that one page, you're going to say it in that one paragraph. Para que todo lo que fue dicho en la página lo sea incluido en un solo párrafo. And so this is how you're going to edit out your words that you speak while you're speaking them by addressing it prior to getting there in thought when you are just thinking about it. Y es así que van a editar su, su proceso de pensamiento antes de llegar a abordarlo. And this is how you're going to streamline your discourse, how we're going to streamline all of us together, where there isn't going to be any nonsense being said, where you're not going to be wasting your time asking questions that you already know the answers to or stating things that already everybody already knows, which is obvious. Yes. Así que ustedes pueden evitar decir cosas que todo el mundo sabe que son obvias o cosas que han sido repetidas antes. Within the people, when we came to council, that there was no nonsense within our councils. Y cuando la gente iba a consejo, no había ninguna tontería. There is no stupidity. You don't go to council to uh, air things out in your mind, to ask questions as to get you. Uh, uh, to have the proper perspective, you're supposed to go to council with position. Ni estupidez, porque no van al consejo nada más para tener un diálogo en su cabeza, en aire libre, en voz alta, sino que van con una posición predeterminada. Which means you are already supposed to have it all thought out and have your legal position on it in advance. Lo que significa que ya todo fue pensado. Wants to see or hear your process of how you get to understanding. Well, we are in a council. Nobody wants to see or hear that. That's not the way it's supposed to happen. Y nadie tiene interés en escuchar su forma de llegar a esa conclusión en frente de todos. No, eso no es como el consejo funciona. The council is 
facts that everybody comes with and they are quite simply affirmed. El consejo son hechos con los cuales la gente llega y son afirmados simplemente. So that when you go to council, you pretty much know that the position, what it's going to be already. Y así cuando van a consejo ya saben cuál es la posición. So council is a formality of affirming everyone already knows. Y el consejo entonces es una formalidad de afirmar lo que todo el mundo ya sabe. So council is not a error, uh, uh, trivial or inconsequential things. It's it's not there for that purpose. Y entonces el consejo no está ahí. Y nada más para hablar de cosas triviales o inconsecuentes. Okay, so what was just said, I know that everybody can understand it. I know that it might not be, say, uh, some people might have a little bit of questioning to it, but this is easily understandable for everyone, and it's expected of you to do this upon yourself, to streamline yourself. Y todo el mundo puede entender esto para saber que esto es con fines de ser concisos. Uh, if you've been with us uh, for a little while, you know that we are communicating in many directions, uh, north to south, east to west, and around the world. Y si han estado con nosotros, saben que nos comunicamos de norte a sur, de este a oeste, y hacia todos lados del mundo. And the things that we are discussing is of the utmost importance. Y lo que discutimos son cosas bien importantes. Well, if some people may think it's not. Y hay quienes pueden pensar que no es así. But it doesn't matter. If you think it's not important, if you think it's trivial, well, then what's trivial for you, then you should just not even partake in what's trivial. Pero si ustedes creen que esto es trivial, pues ni siquiera deberían de participar en eso entonces. I know that I do not participate in trivial things. Y yo sé que yo no participo en cosas triviales. So, uh, yeah, everybody, you are going to start to streamline your conversation, your thoughts, before they leave your mouth. Because when we are in public discussion, we don't want anybody Wasting time, dragging us off to the sides with uh, trivial matters, and we don't want anybody turning this into uh, like where we are just lost in discussion, like a bunch of crazy people just uh, talking about whatever. Y esto es para concentrarnos en el asunto del que hablamos, para no irnos por las tangentes y después empezar a decir quién sabe cuánta cosa que parece que es una bola de locos hablando de cualquier tontería. So what we are going to do, and you should, un, you should expect this, we are going to start streamlining for you if you don't do it yourself. Entonces ustedes deben esperar a que nosotros los hagamos ser concisos y ustedes mismos no lo, no lo hacen. Meaning because of all the important things and the time, little time frames that we got, we can't afford to have 10 people or 20 people sitting here listening to one person talk about trivial nonsense. Porque debido a la urgencia y la importancia de los asuntos, no podemos permitir que haya 10 o 20 personas que se sienten a escuchar a alguien que habla de tonterías. So we will be streamlining the conversation. Entonces vamos a ser concisos. Expect it. Hay que esperar eso. And if it's you that we're cutting off and you get your feelings hurt, well, too bad. Y si es ustedes a quien se les tiene que cortar y se sienten ofendidos, bueno, pues eviten eso. You should not be hindering the conversation with triviality. Porque no se puede permitir que la conversación sea descarrilada hacia algo trivial. Okay, so uh, all of us streamlined. Ser conciso. Okay, so uh, we were supposed to have a, a guest today. We got word that they're not going to be able to make it. Maybe they'll make it later on, but we're not going to wait. Uh, if there's nothing to talk about, uh, then we're just, we're going to streamline the day. But there is one person that we heard from, like what Edith said about uh, 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 Raja Chak Mendoza. So uh, if there is nobody here yet, then then we'll uh, we'll give him a contact. See if uh, what happens. Maybe we can talk with him for a little while. Maybe it'll make him feel good, you know, like to uh, have that contact. And just so you know, Susan also has a little update about Piper that she wanted to share. Uh, entonces, en, bueno, teníamos un invitado que tuvo, como decíamos, un contratiempo. Dijo que a lo mejor puede venir más tarde, pero pues no vamos nada más a quedarnos esperando. Entonces. 
Eh, Susan tiene una um, uh, 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 actualización acerca de Piper que quiere decir y también eh, nuestro amigo Roger quería hablar con nosotros, entonces vamos a poder marcarle para tal vez hacerle, animarle un poquito. Ok, before we call Roger, let's get a couple of things ready to share with him. Let's get the picture of the uh, three young girls whose bodies are in the uh, Brady landfill site. That way we can talk to him about this, what's just happening here, and we can show him the pictures of these young girls. You know what? Get the article, that article uh, that we posted. And then get the article also about Piper Lewis. That way we can inform him about both of these uh, two circumstances that are kind of similar to his, you know, that he can see that uh, uh, the uh, the things that we're working on here, uh, he'll be he'll be able to draw the connections of how it would, it's actually uh, part and parcel of helping him. Y antes de hablarle a Roger, entonces vamos a preparar un par de cosas. Vamos a presentarle el póster que hicimos para la vigilia de estas mujeres que fueron asesinadas y aventadas en el basurero para contarle que estamos trabajando acerca de esto y también mostrarle eh, la, el artículo de Piper eh, para poder eh, mostrarle que también está esta dadora de vida que tiene algo bien similar en eh, lo que le está ocurriendo a él. Yeah, so uh, we'll contact uh... Roger first, and then we'll, uh, we'll go to uh, Susan. Entonces, primero vamos a contactar a Roger, y después vamos a ir con Susan. And then, if that's all that's you, that's going to be the end of the day. Y si eso es todo, pues vamos a terminar el día. Uh, as you know, we do a lot of Zooms, and it's taking up a lot of our personal time. It's uh, preventing me from eating when I'm supposed to. Y como saben, tenemos muchos zooms, eh, lo que toma bastante energía. De hecho, a veces ni siquiera puedo comer cuando debería. So, this is going to be one of the things, like, it's not a schedule for an hour or two hours. If there's nothing, we'll be here for five minutes. We'll say hello and goodbye. Y, bueno, no vamos a quedarnos hablando un montón de tiempo. Si nada más es cinco minutos, pues eso es todo lo que vamos a hacer. Uh, what article? Place Lewis, you get the one that uh, I can get in the web. The one off our page. Yeah, okay. Okay, so let's see. Uh, for Roger, we're going to have to hold that up to the TV again, right? So we can see the people that are here. Okay, so uh, we're going to give uh, a try calling Roger Chalk Mendoza. This is the guy who's uh, been arrested on false charges of murder. Uh, he is in jail in La Paz. Uh, what country is that? Bolivia. Bolivia. Uh, he was protecting and defending his homelands, his territories around Lake Titicaca, where there was a worldwide tourist industry coming and destroying his, his territory. And uh, I think it was about four years ago now, there was a young uh, girl from South Korea who was murdered there, and they pinned the murder on him. Uh, they, they have no evidence they, they held him illegally for at least three, three years come complicity to feminicide but they did not have the murderer as what, what's being done to uh, Leonard Peltier uh, to countless others, to uh, Celestino Cordova, Cordova, uh, to uh, uh, what's the other guy? Who? Leonardo. 
I already said one, the other guy. Right. In the south, Roger Chapman does. Uh, you just said something that's not affordable. That was it. I thought there was some other one. Mm -hmm. Anyways, countless others all over, whether they're in the so called Canada, the United States, or anywhere throughout this hemisphere. Y bueno, uh, para quienes han estado con nosotros, ya saben quién es Roger. Para quien no, es un hermano de la nación Lupaca de la Isla del Sol en el lago Titicaca, en lo que hoy se conoce como Bolivia que eh, es un líder de su comunidad y eh, estaban resistiendo contra el turismo industrial que quiere imponerse en la isla. El mismo le acusaron de haber asesinado a una turista coreana a pesar de que no le encontraron ninguna prueba, ni de ADN, ni de presencia física, ni ningún testigo habló en contra de él, no pudieron encontrarle ninguna prueba o evidencia lo han mantenido en la cárcel primero como uh, forma preventiva y después lo sentenciaron a complicidad de feminicidio. Y a pesar de que nunca encontraron ningún autor del delito, pues así es como le dieron una sentencia de 15 años en la cárcel. Bueno, sabemos que es una estrategia de legítima defensa y eh, bueno, tiene un rato que ya no hablamos con él, entonces vamos a tratar de comunicarnos. Y es un caso similar lo que le ocurre a él con lo que ha ocurrido, por ejemplo, a Celestino Córdoba, eh, Mapuche, eh, de la así llamado Chile. Y bueno, hablamos también de Leonard Pelletier y como cuantos tantos más que se encuentran en esta situación. Ok, so, any luck? What are, what is the time compared to us? Sorry. So right now, what time is it? They would have lunch at noon time. And if there's like a break or for them, whatever, in the afternoon, it should be around 2.30, 3 o'clock-ish. Okay, so we can try him back again and maybe... Uh, uh, 15 minutes if we're still here. I'm going to tell him just to call us back if he's available and uh... let him know we won't be here long today. Okay, so while we're waiting, uh, we might as well go to uh, Susan. You can fill us in about what's the latest then on uh, Piper Lewis. Eh, entonces, Susan, por lo tanto, puedes contarnos qué es lo que ha ocurrido con Piper. My name is Susan Reese Mashike. I am the daughter of Lillian, who carries the clan Mashike and the family name Mashike. I'm the granddaughter of Helen Samuels and the great granddaughter of Mary Petoskey. Just briefly, to more or less to recap um, on, on what's going on, we, I finally made, uh, I got an address for Piper Lewis up until this point. There hasn't been any opportunity to, 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 uh, to get that information. Thanks to uh, Kelly's efforts, we did finally get uh, an address, a Las Vegas address. It took uh, around about three weeks from the time I wrote, wrote the letter to the time I received my return receipt. I made, I it was a del deliberate, uh, 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 act upon my uh, upon me to make sure that the address that I was writing to was le legitimate, and it is. So um, now what we need to do is put the address on TikTok, since TikTok has had over 300 posts and thousands of of views. I think if we put her address on TikTok, it'll take off. Uh, so that's where we're at with it. I'm still we're trying to work with the NAACP. Um, that's on hold, but I am going. There's so much work to do around this that I'm just continuing uh, to do my best efforts on it. And 
and that's it for right now. Mm -hmm. okay. Entonces, that one right there. Como de costumbre, de forma matrilineal, y menciona que lo más importante para ella era poder conseguir la dirección a donde podemos enviarle cartas a Piper. Y eso le costó muchísimo trabajo, pero entonces el, el, el trabajo colectivo que han hecho tanto uh, Kelly como ella juntas para poder hacer este, esta comunicación hacia Piper tuvo ya frutos. Entonces, finalmente tenemos estas direcciones para poder escribirle a Piper. Y eh, lo que Susan ha sugerido es que esto se ha puesto en un mini videíto como TikTok para que eh, toda la gente pueda verlo y quien tenga este deseo de enviarle cartas a Piper, porque hemos visto que en TikTok hay una gran uh, cantidad de gente que está apoyándola haciendo uh, videos para hablar de su caso, esto sería excelente para que todavía haya más, eh, um, que el caso sea más uh, masivo. Well, you know, that, that is a lot of work uh, to, to go in search of that address and to, to get it. Uh, so it's not like it's no small uh, effort on your part. Y es un montón de trabajo el poder ir a encontrar estas uh, direcciones. Entonces no, eh, no hay que, es decir, es importante que hayan hecho esto. Uh, I was talking to Susan the other day and uh, you remember, um, Deborah from Puerto Rico that she just recently made a TikTok about the, the four women. So uh, what I said is that, well, talking with Susan, that I could try and contact Deborah to see if she could do a TikTok with this information. So we still roll with the collaborative effort. Mm -hmm. Lo que le digo a Stuart es que el otro día hablando con Susan, eh, vimos que Deborah, con quien acabamos de tener contacto recientemente eh, de Puerto Rico, ella hizo un TikTok para estas mujeres que fueron asesinadas. Entonces podríamos pedirle a ella que si nos ayuda a hacer este TikTok para que sigamos funcionando el trabajo de colaboración. Okay, so then this is what we should do. We got to put together a little package, you know, a little post, share it on Facebook, social media, as to these are the two um, uh, uh, two actions that we're fighting against in the oppression against women. Uh, we'll, we'll identify the thing about Piper Lewis. Uh, about these uh, four young girls murdered and their bodies thrown in the dump in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba. So we'll just make a very short package of this and say, these are the things that we're working on. Anybody uh, wishing to help can write the letters to uh, the following. Entonces, lo que podemos hacer es hacer como un mini paquetito diciendo, estos son los asuntos acerca de las mujeres que estamos trabajando en este momento. Estas son lo que ocurrió con estas mujeres que fueron aventadas en el basurero en Brady y también ese es el caso de Piper y si alguien quiere escribir cartas al respecto estas son las direcciones. And nowadays it's not that you even have to write a letter to that specific place. All that anybody has to do which would be enough all we're asking is for anybody just to even just make a short statement if you want to make an audio recording a video recording of yourself saying that you stand with Piper Lewis you stand with uh, to demand that the bodies of these four young girls uh, be dug up and paid for and all costs covered incurred by so-called Canada that's all we're asking for anybody to do so it's not that you have to take the time to sit there and write down an address write an envelope uh, fill out a form whatever send it to this place no you could do it from where you're at on your own phone and to say I support and that's it but oh, one minute thing for each thing two minutes anybody could help y ni siquiera se trata de realmente sentarse a escribir una carta y ir a los correos para ponerla y toda. No, simplemente de en su propio teléfono, utilizando este paquetito, decir, miren, este es el caso de Piper, hay que escribirle o hay que apoyarla. Y es simplemente el hecho de enunciarlo lo que es importante. One thing there, I don't know if you know about this, Susan, but uh, do you have any idea why it's Iowa Correctional Institute for Women in Las Vegas, Nevada. Y la bueno. única pregunta que Susan es por qué se trata del Instituto para Mujeres de Iowa, el correccional, y que la dirección está en Las Vegas, Nevada. Well, that's a very good question. There are a lot of uh, 
discrepancies throughout this whole issue. Resistance, um, people not re returning phone calls. One organization, uh, National Black Women's uh, Justice Center out of Brooklyn. I called them eight times with emails. They finally did call me back and they said that they do support Piper Lewis, but only they, they only published the uh, CNN uh, news break with the photograph, but they never followed her case uh, or did anything else. That was months ago. So there's a, there is a decided uh, uh, resistance there that I haven't figured out and a lot of inconsistencies. Uh, usually correctional uh, institutions will handle their own mail. Uh, and, and certainly that has to do with state law, various state laws and all that sort, sort of thing. So I don't get it. I, I was thinking about uh, giving the uh, warden a call and, and ask that question uh, to get some clarification on that. By the way, um, Piper is going to go before the judge on January 14th. I've got to get more information on that as well. Y bueno, lo que Susan nos informa es que a lo que ella ha visto particularmente este caso es un montón de discrepancias. Ejemplo, sí, por qué se tiene que escribir a Nevada, siendo que ella se encuentra en Iowa. Pero también cuando ella estaba acercándose a organizaciones, por ejemplo, de apoyo a gente de color, bueno, ha habido como mucha resistencia, inclusive como una especie de huida de eh, poder uh, poner una posición al respecto de lo que le ocurre a Piper y también ser más vocíferos al respecto. Entonces, ha habido muchas irregularidades que Susan ha detectado a lo largo de este caso. That will be a good time uh, for her proceedings to go through because it's going to be at the opening of the, the, uh, uh, the new moon. Y otra cosa, it's going to be half, half moon que dice Susan es que su proceso en frente del juez va a ocurrir el 14 de enero, entonces ella estaba pensando en echar una llamada al carcelero, que aquí está la, el nombre, Cheryl Dam, y Stuart dice que es un buen momento porque es ahí en donde vamos a estar en la media luna. Ok, you know, this might be uh, why it's in Las Vegas or in Nevada. It might be because of the privatization of the correctional uh, uh, institutes. Y si se tienen que escribir las cartas a Nevada, puede que sea debido a la privatización de los institutos correccionales. And if that's so, then uh, anything in the private sector is going to be worse. It's going to be worse treatment. You know, it's not going to be, uh, um, it's not going to be as good as if it was the, the public sector. Y si este es el caso, pues las cosas no van a ser tan buenas como si fuera el sector público. Ok, well, uh, all right, we'll look at that information. Well, everybody should try to uh, send uh, to wherever you can. You know, this just gives me an idea that, yeah, we have to update also on this. We can't just do a story or address it two months ago and leave it at that. We have to keep doing updates about it. So I'm gonna do an update about it on my page, about uh, the information that you just got and ask people to, to share, uh, write, write her in support, write the institutions to tell them to let this girl go. Entonces lo que voy a hacer es, eh, tienes toda razón, tenemos que hacer una actualización de lo que ha pasado, porque no podemos nada más hablar de ella un, una vez y dos meses después no hacer nada. Entonces, eso es lo que yo me comprometo a hacer, a, a poder eh, decir, hay que escribir esta carta y qué es lo que está ocurriendo con su caso ahorita. Uh, there is a little uh, uh, something here with this issue that uh, is divisive upon, uh, upon anyone who's, who's looking at the story. Y hay algo que está ocurriendo aquí que es divisor entre la gente que está asociada a este caso. We got a connection, some friends, people that were connected to who were apparently turned off by it. Y de hecho tenemos a gente con la que estamos conectadas que de hecho no querían saber nada. Because of the fact that Piper Lewis had killed her rapist. Debido a que Piper había matado a su violador. So, uh, 
what it done is that uh, there's a friend of ours who uh, didn't like the idea that uh, Piper Lewis killed her rapist in saying that nobody's got the right to take anybody else's life. But the mind is closed off there because they don't see that nobody has the right to rape somebody else either. So while somebody is engaged in a felony, that whatever you do to defend yourself against that felony, you have the complete right to do whatever within the wide spectrum of actions that you can take. Y hubo una persona, por ejemplo, que nos dijo que era malo que Piper hubiese matado a su violador, pero lo que esa persona está haciendo es cerrarse de la mente en no ver primero que Piper se estaba defendiendo contra un ataque que ella estaba recibiendo. Entonces, ahí está la cuestión en derecho, que cuando alguien se está defendiendo de cualquier ataque, esa persona tiene el derecho de actuar en defensa en el vasto uh, rango de posibilidades que esto implica. So it's too bad that a 37-year-old man who has children uh, was killed. Y bueno, sí, que un hombre de 37 años que tenía hijos fue matado. Well, it's too bad that that 37-year-old piece of crap was engaged in raping a 15-year-old girl first. Pero, pues, primero es peor que un hombre de 37 años con hijos estuviese violando a una niña de 15 años. So this is the stupidity of uh, how people's minds are divided on this issue. They get distracted from the truth by looking at, oh, a man was killed. Yeah, a man who was raping, a 37-year-old man who was raping a 15-year-old girl. Yes, he got killed. He got what he deserved. Y es ahí donde la gente se bloquea, se confunde, se desvía del asunto porque escuchan asesinato. Y sí, pero este hombre fue asesinado porque estaba violando a los 37 años con dos hijos a una niña de 15 años. So there's something that all of us have to understand resulting from this story that's going to be extrapolated into pretty much every part of your life in the future. Y bueno, esta parte de su más bien, este caso puede extrapolarse en cualquier parte de su vida. Is that you are going to see corruptions and you are going to uh, separate from those corruptions, which means you are going to take a definite side of truth, which means that other people who are not, don't have, a, who do not have a conviction to truth, that, oh, you're going to turn them off and they're going to be angry at you and they're going to say, oh, I can't be your friend anymore. To hell with those people. Y esto significa que cuando ustedes ven este tipo de corrupciones, se van a separar de estas corrupciones. Y eso les va a poner en un lado de una posición bien clara y definitiva. Que para el resto de la gente que no van a tener los elementos para ver esa posición, van a dividirse, van a caer en la trivialidad, van a alejarse de ustedes no queriendo ser sus amigos. Pero bueno, ¿para qué quieren ser amigos de esta gente? If people want to be selective in the truths that they support, then we can't have anything to do with such people. Porque si la gente quiere empezar a ser selectiva en cuanto a las verdades, pues, ¿cómo it's, lo vamos a hacer? It's got to be truth all the time. It can't be, oh, well, when it suits you, or, oh, I feel this way about it. These are wishy-washy minds, and these are the minds that permit corruptions to continue in this world because they don't have a definite stance within law, within right and wrong. Tiene que ser una constante de verdad. No puede ser como, ay, ahorita me siento así. O, oh, ah, no, no, por esa parte no, no. Tiene que ser una verdad continua, porque si no, son esas personas las que van a dejar entrar las corrupciones, las que están como que sí, como que no, y eso no se puede permitir. So these people, for any of us, in any time that we're having any kind of interaction about anything about Piper Lewis, and somebody says, or it's there, you know, it's in their mind, uh, oh, well, she killed somebody. Y para quien sea que estamos hablando de Piper Lewis y que de repente va a decir, sí, pero es que ella mató a alguien. Then you got to make sure you present. You got to ask the question, oh, okay, so you don't think it's good that a 15-year-old girl uh, killed her 37-year-old rapist. Entonces tienen que hacer la pregunta, ok, entonces no crees que una niña de 15 años tuviese el derecho de defenderse contra un hombre violador de 37. Then you got to corner that person because their mind is corrupt. 
Y hay que acorralar a esa persona porque su mente está corrupta. You got to ask them, so this means then that you think it's okay for a 37-year-old man to rape a 15-year-old girl. Eso significa okay, entonces estás de acuerdo en que un hombre de 37 años viole a una niña de 15. This is the stupidity in the minds of people who uh, allow the truth to be blocked out of their mind because of their inability to see things properly because their mind just get blocked out by oh this man was killed they don't give a damn that that man is a piece of shit 37 years old raping a 15 year old girl y es ahí donde la gente se bloquea porque oye asesinato lo mató ajá no ven lo uh, el preámbulo de cómo fue este hombre el que básicamente provocó su propia muerte por su propia acción you're going to find that as every second goes by from here, that you are going to be in situations like this more and more, where other people are going to be pulling themselves away from you because you have no choice. You got to make judgment calls. Y van a, ahora a confrontar esto cada vez más, que va a haber gente que va a querer alejarse de ustedes porque ustedes tienen que hacer ese... Eh, llamado uh, de juicio de uh, hacer um, esclarecer las cosas yeah so this thing about Piper Lewis it's not uh, uh, anywhere close to being over even if they ended up on on the 14th point in the court and just saying hey throw this thing out it's not anywhere close to being over because this is a societal problem in the so-called United States oh not well not all but there is a huge portion of the society that are rapists. They support rape. They want the conditions for them to be able to rape young girls. They want those conditions to be there for them. Y esto no va a acabar nada más. Imaginemos que el 14 llegamos a la corte y le dicen, ah, bueno, Piper, tu caso se terminó y como si ya se acabó el asunto. No, porque estamos hablando de un asunto legal a nivel social. ¿Cuántos casos no ha habido de hombres que han sido absueltos por haber violado a mujeres? ¿A qué grado la sociedad está compuesta de complicidad en sus diferentes niveles en los que todos los hombres quieren tener acceso a violar a niñas en cuanto quieran? Is it a real thing that this so-called Jewish guy, this so-called Jeffrey Epstein, friend of presidents, moves in circles with so-called royal family in Britain, and moves in the highest uh, circles of richest people on earth is, is it a fantasy that this guy just supposedly killed himself which he is still alive but because of a worldwide child prostitution ring y no es cierto que este hombre judío que se llamaba uh, Epstein eh, estaba codeándose con presidentes y con las supuestas llamadas familias reales y que él estaba dirigiendo junto con otras personas un anillo de tráfico de niños. If that is real, if it's true, which it's all over the news, it has been in court, but the fact that it is there tells you that these are the conditions for young girls, not just for young girls, also for young boys, but for everybody, women, men, all ages, it doesn't matter. It identifies that there is a worldwide ring of human trafficking. Y si esto es real, y parece que es real, porque estuvo en todas las noticias, salió en todos lados, hubieron uh, investigadores que hicieron las conexiones, estuvo en la corte, Y si esto es real, bueno, significa que hay niveles más profundos de la influencia de este tipo de anillos de tráfico que está impregnado en todas las sociedades. And such worldwide rings are only made possible by the super rich, by captains of industry, by people who have the ability to move human bodies around the earth without being detected, without having to go through... Uh, uh, customs and things of that nature. Y esto solamente puede ser movido con quien tiene un montón de dinero e influencia, es decir, quien puede saltarse las aduanas, quien puede saltarse todas las leyes fronterizas y que puede mover a nivel internacional niños de un lado a otro para sus fines. 
So what appears to be an isolated small thing, like, oh, there's one native uh, woman gone missing, another native woman gone missing. Oh, at the same time, there's a non-native woman gone missing also. Lots of people, lots of women gone missing, and the police don't do a goddamn thing about it. They are a part of the ring of corruption. Y entonces lo que vamos a así emerger como cosas aisladas, como, ay, mira una mujer indígena que desaparece, ay, mira otra por allá, ay, mira, ahora es un hombre indígena que desaparece por allá, ay, ahora un hombre por acá. Todo eso está ligado a estas redes completamente eh, en todos lados. So the fact that just the story of Jeffrey Epstein is there in the world, you know that that's just one guy out of hundreds of thousands, if not millions of players who all... Uh, uh, are doing the same thing of human trafficking on behalf of the one place that uh, that uh, pays for that, and this is all out of Britain. Y el hecho de que gente como este Epstein esté allí, digo que dicen que se suicidó, pero eso queda por verse. Eh, que este tipo de cosas existan, existe por el dinero, existe por la influencia, que al final de cuentas viene directamente ligado y controlado a la corona británica. So the fact that it's there exposed to us where you would never have known about it, nobody would ever know about it, if not for whatever the court case was uh, pertaining to Jeffrey Epstein. Y eh, si ustedes no hubiesen sabido que estaba el caso en la corte, no habrían sabido nada de esto tal vez. Why is it known? Because it's in court. Because there was some police action. But how come it's not known on the wide scale levels that it must be? How come you, the individual, are choosing not to look at this? Not to make yourself knowledgeable about it? ¿Y cómo ocurre que esto? Bueno, fue porque la policía lo agarró y salió en las noticias y fue a la corte. Pero si no fuera por esto... ¿Cómo es posible que ustedes no puedan saber que esto existe? It's because of compliance. Pues es porque lo aceptan. Aren't you compliant? ¿O no? Prove that you are not compliant. Entonces, ¿cómo pueden demostrar que no lo están aceptando? How would you do that? Would you prove that you're not compliant just by saying, I'm against it? Lo demostraría nada más diciendo, no, 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 yo estoy en contra de eso. That doesn't prove that you're against it. Eso no demuestra que están en contra. It's the actions that you take in uh, separating from those corruptions, identifying them, and then moving on to another path other than standing on that path of corruption, which everybody in the so-called United States has chosen to remain on that path of corruption, not identify that kind of official corruption upon their children and to attempt to move to another course. Nobody is doing that. Porque para demostrar que están en contra, habrían tenido que decir, ah, mira, aquí hay una vena de corrupción, me separo de ella y me voy a otra. Pero nadie ha hablado de este asunto a sus hijos, nadie ha hecho algo a nivel público para decir, tenemos que parar esto. Entonces, a pesar de que digan que están en contra, si siguen en la misma vena de corrupción, pues la ilusión es que están en contra. So you can extrapolate this story over to absolutely everything else in your life and knowing that, well, if there's no truth there, if the people don't know the truth, if they're shying away from it and they don't want to talk about it, they don't want to know about it, then extrapolate that to all the other corruptions, small and big, that you know of. Y si hacemos el paralelo de este ejemplo con otras corrupciones, de que la gente sabe que ocurre, pero que a pesar de eso no hacen nada para salirse de la conexión con esta corrupción. And you can conclude easily that it is the way of the white man. It is the way of the non-native European to live in corruption. Y pueden concluir que esa es la forma del tipo que se ha acostumbrado a eso, a vivir en la corrupción. This is why what we said is that you are going to find more and more uh, separation from your friends and family. They are going to separate from you because if you uh, wish to stay awake, again, you have to identify these corruptions. You have to separate from them, which means you're going to...
y esto significa que va a haber cada vez más una separación entre sus amigos y su familia de ustedes, porque si ustedes quieren permanecer en la verdad, esto uh, va a, a reflejarse. This means you're going to make enemies or your friends and family will make enemies of you. Y esto significa que sus amigos y su familia van a estar en contra de ustedes. Because right now your friends and family are, as a matter of fact, complacent, complicit with all of these corruptions. Porque sus amigos, su familia están complacientes y por lo tanto en complicidad con estas corrupciones. So, uh, the awakening of oneself the uh, 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 the use of critical thought in awakening oneself, you got no choice but to separate from, from the corruption, which means you are going to be right in the middle of uh, uh, having your family divided because the rest of your family is the corruption. Y el despertar de cada individuo va a ser confrontado por eh, el hecho de estar en medio de una división entre su familia, porque la mayoría de su familia puede escoger permanecer conectados con la corrupción. Ok, anyway, so, uh, yeah, we'll leave it there about Piper Lewis. So, uh, in the next couple of days, everybody should try as much as possible to uh, write to the addresses that Susan got. I mean, don't uh, let all of her effort go to waste. I mean, maybe somebody else is going to see it anyways and utilize it, but we should attempt at the very least. Y entonces, bueno, esa es la actualización del día de hoy con respecto a Piper Lewis y que este trabajo que Susan ha hecho de conseguir las direcciones del teléfono, del carcelero, la carcelera y a dónde escribir las cartas, que no se quede así nada más que eh, la gente pueda utilizar el trabajo de Susan para uh, apoyar a Piper. Ok, all right. Uh, that's it for that. Uh, we can try uh, Roger one more time. And if he's not there, then we're going to call it a day. Uh, so, you know, can you raise her hand? Uh, entonces podemos tratar de hablarle a Roger de nuevo y, y Kenny eh, levantó su mano. Uh, should I speak? No, we're trying to call Roger. Oh, sorry. One ringy ding, two ringy dings, <laughs> three ringy dings. Ruth Buzzy, anybody remember her? I guess not. Nope. <laughs> Don, I Susan, remember. at least uh, you or Kelly got to remember Ruth Buzzy. Who is it? Uh, I remember her well. <laughs> Lily Tom. One ringy too. dingy, two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, he's not there. Okay, well, we tried twice, we tried calling him. Uh, uh, Edith left a message for him to call back. If he if he does call us while we're within the Zoom, of course, we're going to go straight to him. So, okay, Kelly, there you go. Go ahead. Yeah. Bueno, Roger no contesta. Entonces, eh, ya dijimos que si puede marcar. Y si ocurre, vamos a ir derechito a él. Adelante, Kelly. Um, yeah, uh, my name is Kelly, daughter of Beverly, granddaughter of Betty, great-granddaughter of Jeannie. My, my first purpose to raise my hand was to just discuss Roger for a moment, but then I do, I can add to this, this discussion on Piper. Y yo primero levanté mi mano para hablar de Roger, pero también me gustaría uh, agregarle a la discusión acerca de Piper. One is just a simple one. Uh, and sorry, Susan, if I didn't explain it when we, we were talking about it. Translation. Yes. Yeah. Well, oh. um, okay. <laughs> uh, it's like a not finished sentence. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, yes, I can finish it for you. Sorry. 
um, uh, that uh, the reason that the Las Vegas um, address, which when I was researching for the address, was that uh, they just wanted to end up having one central station that all their uh, prisoners letters go to and then they go out to the um, prisons and so that's changed and then. Y es con respecto a por qué hay un lugar centralizado que es ahí en Nevada para todas las diferentes prisiones y es que quieren centralizarlos en un lugar para de ahí reenviarlas a las diferentes prisiones. I'm happy that we brought um, Piper up because I was just finalizing the final draft letter. Y qué bueno que estamos hablando de Piper porque estaba finalizando la versión final de la carta que le voy a enviar. And just, um, and then, so, and, and in that letter, I put examples of the different ways we can close as the, you know, as a life givers nations with our names in, um, Y en esta carta hay ejemplos de cómo podemos uh, nombrarnos eh, como lo hacemos en la Nación de Dadoras de Vida con los nombres de nuestras mamis y abuelitas. And I'm so happy Susan's here because with her saying that her letter got through, which we were talking about that. Y estoy contenta de saber que la carta de Susan llegó. I can put in our letter now to her that that is confirmed because I, I wrote a sort of a sentence going, you know, we're still waiting to find out if that letter got through. Y ahora puedo escribirle sabiendo que sí va a poder llegar. And then for Roger, I really wanted to speak to him to um, apologize for, it seems like I'm not doing the artwork, but I've got sidetracked with artwork, then writing in these letters like and my whole thing from my uh, 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 storytelling package for schools, and then uh, so go ahead with that. Sorry. Y quería ofrecerle una disculpa directamente a Roger porque no es que no quiera seguir haciendo el arte que estábamos haciendo por él, sino que me puse ocupada con un montón de otras cosas que hacer. The the, I, I have the picture already drawn out for probably now, maybe even two months, because I was sick for the last month as well. So even though he's not here, I feel like I am speaking to him and just apologizing. And today I'm starting to paint that the third picture in the work that Ayun and I are doing for him on behalf of all of us. Y a pesar de que no está aquí, siento como que le estoy hablando, entonces nada más decirle que voy a empezar a pintar la tercera uh, obra de arte que estamos haciendo a Jun y yo uh, para él en nombre de todos nosotros. And I guess that's it, just to, uh, yeah. But just the most, you know, that Las Vegas thing, you know, and but I just want to say I do agree with Stuart and like all the other possible reasons because there's always a, there's always a, another real reason why they move and move their little chess game, you know, their little characters in their chess game, like a new address. Y para probably... volver... Go ahead, sorry. Para volver a lo de Nevada, pues es esto. Estoy de acuerdo con lo que dices tú, que a veces nada más utilizan movimientos para mover a sus peones en su ajedrez. Okay, for, for all okay. of us. There is actually one more thing I did. Uh, I did somewhere have the link. I wrote it down somewhere. I've got to find it on my paper. The link to uh, Piper's um, court time, like there, you know, her like the Zoom, how you can go in on that. And I had it had come up in my my alert in my brain. Sorry, I forgot. And then so what I'm going to do after this, I'm going to go on. I'm going to go and find that link and then post it for everybody. E Y, eh, se me olvida que también encontré el vínculo Zoom para poder acceder al juicio de Piper. Entonces, eh, lo voy a publicar para que todo el mundo tenga acceso. So, there's a Teams code that we can actually go in and to observe the court proceedings? Entonces, yes. Sorry. ¿Estás diciendo que de el código para poder ir a observar el juicio? Oh, wow, that's perfect. And everybody should jump on that. Sí, entonces todo el mundo debería de conectarse. Okay. All right. Just as another thing, keep in mind, everybody, uh, all of us, and 
no matter what, uh, not just with us, if you're connected with other people online and you're whatever it is that you're doing with them. Y que todo mundo, digamos, si estamos conectados en línea y que todo mundo esté al consciente, al consciente de esto. The, over the past two years, this has been, uh, everybody's pretty much been relegated to having our interaction solely online. En los últimos par de años, casi todo mundo ha sido relegado a tener nuestra interacción solamente en línea. And the whole world has been learning some, or making some adjustments to this reality now. So uh, corporations around the world have been functioning still while their workers are at home. Uh, other people are able to get things done through networking over social media without having to actually have physical contact. Y el mundo entero se ha vuelto así, ha acostumbrado a trabajar de casa, a poder hacer todo lo que hacían en su oficina, pero desde sus propios lugares y a seguir avanzando así. So there's something we have to understand about where we're doing stuff physically with people and we're doing stuff virtually with people. Y entonces es importante distinguir cuando hacemos cosas físicamente con la gente o cuando los hacemos de forma virtual. Of course, the physical is, you're, you're getting much more done. The virtual stuff, it's all pretty much within the realm of thinking. It's within the intellectual capacities. Y por supuesto, lo físico, pues hay mucho más que puede avanzarse. Cuando hablamos de lo virtual, pues es más bien dentro del nivel de la capacidad intelectual. So, for physical, tangible efforts or results, working together, networking virtually online, you're not going to have the same amount of results as if you're working physically. Y cuando hablamos de trabajo virtual, pues el avance y el trabajo no va a ser el mismo que en forma física. So keep this in mind. You don't have to apologize for whatever you didn't do. Entonces no tienes por qué disculparte por lo que no has hecho. It's what we are doing what's important. Lo que es importante es lo que estamos haciendo. You look at what we experienced last night in, in the Zoom that we had last night. Y si hablamos, por ejemplo, del Zoom que tuvimos ayer en la noche. This guy that Lisa Wolf invited. Eh, estaba Lisa Wolf que trajo a un invitado. Okay. This guy, apparently, he says that they do stuff physically, you know, for uh, to help women. Y este hombre dijo que hacía cosas de forma física para ayudar a las mujeres. And then when you look at his behavior last night and his conduct, the way his discourse uh like uh to respond to us in in the little bit of effort we're doing for him to say so you haven't done shit then y la forma en la que nos respondió a lo que hemos hecho o los pocos esfuerzos que estamos tratando de hacer diciéndonos bueno básicamente no han, no han hecho nada pero lo hizo lo dijo de una forma muy grosera this is just to identify this is the proof of this guy's mentality and the reality of what you just shown or what you just identified, what I what I didn't do, you're apologizing for what you didn't do. There's a reality here in the virtual world, what we're doing, it's very limited. Physically to tangible stuff, it's limited. It's all intellectual. But the physical things that people are doing, this is where it's hard for people to, uh, uh, to, uh, uh, reconcile these two things. Entonces, ahí es la prueba fehaciente de que cuando alguien está en el terreno haciendo cosas físicas es una realidad. Pero cuando alguien está tratando de hacer algo a distancia de forma virtual es otra. Entonces, tú te disculpas porque sientes que no has hecho suficiente. Y es ahí en donde cuando alguien está haciendo algo físico puede que no sea tan fácil reconciliar lo que ocurre con el nivel virtual. So don't do that. Entonces, no hagas eso. Don't apologize for the efforts that um, that you think you're not making. No te disculpes por los esfuerzos que crees que no estás haciendo. Because the efforts that are there compensate for whatever you think you are not doing. Porque los esfuerzos que están 
ahí compensan por lo que no crees, por lo que crees que no estás haciendo. There is a downside, a negative side to doing that. That's where you beat yourself up. And when a person beats themselves up, there's always only a negative outcome to that. Y siempre hay el lado negativo de que cuando una persona se siente mal y se culpa y luego se autoflagela, pues va a haber algo más negativo todavía. No, unless you said, I'm going to have this done by this date. Unless you said that and you were unable to meet that, then there's nothing to apologize for. Entonces, menos de que dijeras, ok, para este día voy a tener esto listo y que no lo logres, bueno, ahí sí, pero si no, pues no. There is a larger negative also to it that when other people see this and then it just becomes a custom for the people to do this, we eventually undermine ourselves. We, we defeat ourselves before we even get started. This is where this mentality leads to. Yeah. Este tipo de mentalidad lleva a que si lo hacemos así de forma constante, pues es eh, la persona misma que se está venciendo a ella, inclusive antes de empezar. Ok, so, uh, good information today about Piper Lewis. Uh, this is pretty much all uh, that we could go today. We were waiting for uh, others. They're not here. Uh, we tried Roger Chalk Mendoza. Uh, we're going to go on to the closing. If we are almost... 98 complete the closing and he calls well forget about the closing we're coming right back entonces bueno hablamos de piper eh, le tratamos de hablar a roger dos veces nuestro invitado no pudo venir y bueno ya hemos hecho todo y podemos cerrar entonces eh, vamos a pasar al cierre y si eh, ya estamos casi cerrando acabando y roger llama bueno vamos a parar todo para darle la palabra a él por supuesto okay so uh anything to inform people on Mm, anything going on? Um, no, nothing until I guess Wednesday. Uh, we still have uh, keep in our minds about the rebirth that we are still in that. You, just because you may not see us discussing that here uh, or last night doesn't mean that each individual shouldn't be keeping themselves up to speed on this. Y um, que, con, que sigamos pensando en que estamos en el proceso de nacimiento. Entonces, eh, no porque no hablemos de ello a cada vez que no lo seguimos estando. So, when, uh, probably Wednesday, if we got the time, then we'll be looking at uh, encapsulating the last uh, week. Y tal uh, vez el miércoles podamos uh, encapsular lo que no hemos hablado. Okay, uh, just the closing. All right, so here we are. We're streamlining today because uh, we're not. Sorry, <laughs> we're not just going to keep sitting around and talking for the sake of talking. Entonces vamos a hacer el cierre porque fuimos hoy concisos y no vamos a seguir nada más hablando para hablar. Yeah. So now we'll go everybody. Y gracias a todos por haber estado aquí. Edit digits is the soco. Accept I in the square panchita. Then accept an aneda in the square salsa. Tapotecnia Hunsagi, Mexica, Mumonerista, Yanaka Yuni, Yakina Sadista, and a Dorai and a Sesne, Yanaka Hagan Gahnawagi, and a Wisney Hunsagi, and a Waragi Gawanagi. The eating of Rato, Ganuwa Garia Gesso, Yanki Sota, Santa Neca Gorakwa, Yanki Nistani Hunsagi, and a way to Kundum Hetzer at Gawats. Taranyuago, Sawiskara, Sini, Kanya, Tarakeru, Aguego, Unukwasu, Atano, Aguea, Kwatsire. We want to give our greetings and thanks to a Sky Woman, our Grandma Moon, our Mama Earth, and all of the life givers in all of their shapes and forms, to all of the waters, all of the medicines, and all of the relations in good spirit. Queremos agradecerle a la Mujer Cielo, a Abuelita Luna, a Mami Tierra, a todas las dadoras de vida, a todas las aguas y las medicinas y a todas nuestras relaciones en buen espíritu. Y a Diñato, Yonata Yuni, Yotiscarewege, Chacuncese, de Carahuida, Huevo Diane, Rodiane, Neyo Jajillo, Dani Gujillo, Donora Yendoana, Venera Saracoa, Deiri de Yojade, Ayunki Otagen, Padandawa, la mujer será de ganar un cuarto ser humano, o el cuyo, Scana, Gasastan será de no caribo, o el será de Gasastan será de Bunungue, ganando un cuarto ser humano, o el Kawat será de Awekatsan Hayan. We also give thanks to the spirit of the three clans and all of the clans, Turtle, Wolf, and Bear, 
to all of the peacemakers, be it female and male, that walked on the path that gave us the gift of the great love, peace, and the true wampum. And we ask them to assist us in bringing back the love, truth, peace, power, and righteousness back to the people so that the life givers in their true identity in balance with the life protectors can bring about the councils of heart, family, and nation. Um, también le damos las gracias a los tres clanes y a los clanes universales, la tortuga, el lobo y el oso. También a las mujeres y hombres que crearon, caminaron por el camino de la paz, que nos regalaron la gran ley de la paz, el wampum de dos vías y les pedimos que nos ayuden para que el amor, la verdad, la paz, el poder de nuestros ancestros y el buen camino vuelvan para que las mujeres en su verdadera identidad de dadoras de vida, en equilibrio con los hombres en su verdadera identidad de protectores de vida, podamos hacer que nuestros conceptos de corazón, de familia, de nación vuelvan. Y si hay algún obstáculo uh, en esto, lo empujamos en los tres niveles de la existencia. And if there's an obstacle to this, we just push it away on the three levels of the existence. Tano, no gatena yodaksa. Eres awet. Eres awet. Eres awet. Yo everybody. Don't eat you. See ya.